Since the beginning of the pandemic, many married couples are reevaluating their relationships and choosing to part ways. January marks National Divorce Month, and today we want to help you through this important process and let you know the steps you should be taking along the way and how you should be having conversations with children, friends, and family. We're joined now by Sabrina Shaheen Cronin, family lawyer and divorce expert, with what we all need to know, especially if you're thinking about divorce. Good morning, Sabrina. Hi, good morning, Allie. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So first off, how do families or couples know when it's time to file? Typically, Allie, some people just reach the breaking point. They've done all they can to make the marriage work. They've gone to counseling. They've exhausted all of their internal resources and sometimes even external. Sometimes it's about money. Sometimes it's about a habit or an addiction. And you know, you just reach that point where you don't want to live like that any longer. And that's the last resource is divorce. Is there anything you recommend doing prior to filing? Yes, I recommend exhausting all those avenues. It's so important to know that life is not always better on the other side. You go to counseling, do the necessary things you need to do to improve yourself first and foremost. It's not always finding the answer in someone else. Sometimes you have to change within. And then once you do that, and once you know you're ready to take that next step, then definitely get all of your finances together. Make sure you are fully aware of what you need to do to move you and your family forward, especially if there's children. And of course, if there is any kind of abuse involved, you definitely need a strategy in place. And I highly recommend you talking to an expert, whether it's a lawyer, a counselor, a therapist, to make sure you know the necessary steps you have to take to protect yourself and your kids. It's very sad that we have to talk about safety when it comes to divorce, but unfortunately it's a reality for so many women, even sometimes men in relationships. So having a plan in place so important because safety's first. And when yes. we're talking about safety and we're talking about those next steps, uh, children, a lot of couples have children. How do you approach this topic? What do you tell your children? Allie, that's another very sensitive topic. And some people say way too much. You have to make sure you're being mindful of their age and you have age appropriate conversations. It is so important to know and to realize that these kids did not ask for this, whether they're youngsters, infants, toddlers, or even through their teen years. Sometimes teens have the most difficult time coping because they're the ones that lived in that environment with you the longest. And so for teens, they're dealing with so much as it is with their high schools and their peer pressures and all of the anxiety that goes along with just being a teen, then add on to that the troubles of their parents. And when a parent puts a teen or even any kind of aged children in the middle of a divorce, you're signing yourself up for disaster. You never want to disparage the other parent in front of that child. You never want to talk ill or do anything negatively that will impact that child. Because you have to remember that child is half of that parent. And so if you're disparaging that other parent, and I don't care what type of issues you have in that marriage, whether it was abuse or very extreme situations, or even just you just can't get along, or if there's infidelity, you, you still have to remember, don't put your children in the middle because in the end you will lose. That child will look at you as the bad one when you keep disparaging that other parent. What would you say is the one piece of advice, the biggest thing that parents, married couples need to know before moving forward with the process of divorce? I think people need to understand that it's a process and that you need to be reasonable. People expect so much, whether it's through divorce, whether it's with their divorce lawyer, whether it's with the other parent, you have to understand that you need to be reasonable and try to communicate and set aside your differences. Especially when there's children involved, you need to compromise and learn that moving forward, this is your new normal. And just because you're breaking up your marriage doesn't mean you have to burn a bridge or be so acrimonious in the process. You can let it all go get better within yourself and move forward to a peaceful existence. Learn to be kind and let that anxiety and anger go because the only person you're hurting by holding on to all that anger is yourself. 
And so you need to learn to let it go to have a better life moving forward. Sabrina, a hard topic to talk about, but important information that you just provided us. Thank you so much for waking up with us this Saturday morning and letting us know all these really great pieces of advice. Thanks, Allie. It was great being here. Have a great day. Thank you. You as well.